we're going to be flying out to Fallon, Nevada. It's about 60, 70 miles east of Reno, uh, and that's kind of the heart of our geothermal power operations in northern Nevada. We have over 100,000 acres of uh, steam property scattered over a couple of counties out there, and uh, we are actively drilling steam now in northern Nevada. Our whole objective here as a company is to uh, prove up the rest of the steam that we think lies under our leases, and then with that steam, uh, fuel uh, new geothermal power plants and put that uh, geothermal, clean geothermal power on the wires and provide 24-7 reliable base load electric power to the utilities. What I'm uh, standing on right now uh, is the uh, top of a hot spring system. These are called center mounds. This whole thing was created by a fracture right underneath us where the hot water has been uh, boiling up through here and it leaves these uh, highly silica rocks. This is almost solid, uh, approaching almost solid glass. In fact, if you run your hand across here, you'll tear the hell out of your skin. It'll cut you, it's so sharp. And uh, this is a great indicator of a high temperature geothermal system and a very recent one. Uh, there's so much wind and sand blowing across this country a good part of the year that if this hadn't been recently flowing not very many years ago, this whole thing would be leveled. And uh, you wouldn't even see these rocks. They'd be, uh, you know, sandblasted into oblivion. This is one of the reasons that uh, these geothermal drilling activities work out uh, with uh, high drilling success uh, because we don't even drill unless we've either got these surface uh, silica deposits, uh, temperature of the water had to be real high to dissolve the, uh, the uh, glass uh, at depth, uh, which then comes out of solution and leaves these deposits. We're blessed with eight miles of leases north-south and three and four miles, uh, five miles east-west. It's big property uh, uh, across this salt wells basin and up into the big old boon jugs up there. So what we're looking at is Rocket Drill Co. number two. And this is a massive uh, Playa Lake geothermal steam property with the Boon Jug Mountain uplift in the background. So we have the fracture zones along the front of the uplift. And then, as I said earlier, we've done seismic work out here and determined that this entire basin is extensively fractured and cross-fractured. This is elephant country for steam, and here's the steam to prove it. Pretty, isn't it? It's an older oil and gas drilling rig that we brought up here from the oil patch from Oklahoma. And uh, we're using this rig uh, now to drill steam. This is called the double. That means we can drill with two strings of drill pipe at a time. That's relatively efficient. It's more efficient than a single. And we own this rig. So this Rocket Drill Co. rig is uh, now sitting on the third uh, shallow production well that we've drilled here in the last couple of months, and it's blowing steam. Uh, we hit uh, fracture zones here that are less than uh, 500 feet deep. So we're pulling out of the hole right now, uh, getting ready to pull this rig off this site and, uh, and go back in and run a well test in a couple of weeks. <coughs> been a very successful drilling operation. We're completely happy with the results here. These guys have done a, a really good job. They've been efficient. Let's throw them a little party here a little later today. Got a cater coming out to the rig site. We're doing just about the same thing you'd be doing if you're drilling for oil and gas. Same technology. Uh, this drill rig come right out of the oil patch and our workers over here come right out of the oil patch too. Virgil here, our vice president drilling, has been uh, training his crew and drilling steam. Is this about how, what you were looking for when uh, when we put you on this site? Absolutely. No Absolutely. surprise here? No surprise here. Hot water, shallow, most economical to drill.
what we have here is a large triple rig. Uh, this is a million pound derrick. This rig is capable of drilling over 15,000 feet of oil and gas. Uh, this rig has just been brought in from uh, the manufacturer. Uh, this is Rocket uh, Drill Co. Rig 3, RD3. And uh, this rig is uh, just uh, getting set up to drill now. And uh, this well uh, should be in the range, if it's productive, should be in the range of uh, five to seven megawatts of well. Enough power for 5,000, 7,000 people for a long, long time. Very glad to have this rig out here. It's a brand new state-of-the-art rig. This is one of, the, one of the best new drill rigs we know of in the, in the whole geothermal industry. So this rig here, uh, is just getting started on a well that'll go to uh, uh, at least 7,000 feet. Uh, we've done a lot of science out here, seismic and uh, uh, gravity surveys, other things that are very similar to what the oil and gas industry does. Got a pretty good picture of what's down hole, so we're gonna be drilling down there looking for these big fracture zones that we think exist. These people have been drilling all their lives, most of them. Some of them third generation drilling crew members and uh, it's a good business for them. They work 12 on, 12 off and uh, then they go back home and uh, a lot of these guys will have little ranches or farms. Turns out to be a good, uh, you know, uh, a good match for them. They make good money here and uh, go back and take care of their farms and ranches. And how long you been drilling? I've been drilling about eight years. How long you been in the past? Uh, about 14 years. Yeah. Just a youngster, huh? Yes. Hey, it's a little safer. It's, uh, the kicks and stuff like that ain't quite as bad, like oil and gas. I mean, we're drilling for hot water, steam, plus it's a new source of energy as far as what we've been doing. Our chief scientist, uh, Jim Combs, who's a PhD out of MIT, uh, believes there's a uh, uh, in the range of uh, enough power for 150,000, 200,000 people in this basin, 150 to 200 megawatts of power. This is the cleanest, uh, lowest impact, and most cost-effective power source on the planet today. We sell our power at less than the cost of a new gas-fired power plant, and yet we have much less impact than a gas-fired plant, and we don't even use groundwater to cool the damn stuff. This is the cleanest form of energy. It is the premium source of what's called base load power. This stuff is, is, there's nothing better than geothermal for this planet. And it's really good for the financial community too. This is a drill pad uh, located right at the base of uh, this uh, Black Butte volcano. We're over at Petua Hot Springs, which is about four miles from Fernley about 15 miles from Salt Wells. I'm standing here holding rock that is almost uh, solid glass. Actually, it's an opaline deposit. This is a green rock epidote. You don't even get that in the rock unless the geothermal beneath us is 500F. So right behind me here is a volcano system. That's turned to clay in the center. There was so much steam blowing up through it. So this, uh, this is believed to have a couple hundred megawatts, enough steam for several hundred thousand people. And then our properties run on north, there's a total of 100,000 acres of steam leases here that Vulcan Power has. This is just what you look for for geothermal. And all of these mounds sticking up around here, as much as 40, 50 feet in the air, are hot spring deposits of similar material, all brought up by the hot water. Uh, we got 20,000 acres blocked in here at Petua. We're ready to drill it. We'll be drilling this month. It's a good site. There's boiling hot springs just uh, just about a, a mile from here. I used to come out here and soak in the hot tub. It was pretty cool. What happened here in Nevada is a number of the big oil and gas companies were in here, independents and majors alike, and they were drilling for steam. They found steam. Uh, a few of those projects got the limited power contracts that were available. Those projects went ahead and got developed. And then at $10 oil and so on, you know, the uh, oil and gas industry went through retrenchment. Retrenchment from geothermal, retrenchment from oil and gas. Uh, so they backed out of geothermal starting 15 years ago or so uh, and weren't drilling here. 
a lot of the properties like ours here are being uh, developed where we have a lot of data from the oil and gas guys that went before. You do the science, you pull the money together, uh, you have a, a team of people that knows what they're doing. Uh, they come in and uh, evaluate the resource. It takes uh, years to get ready and then you drill and you find the steam and it's just a great feeling. And you know it's sustainable. This is not something that you're going to tap and have it go away, you know, uh, in a few years' time. This is steam that uh, is going to continue to produce power for decades or longer. There are fields in Italy, I understand, that are 100 years old. There's a field here in, in the United States that's 50 years old at the geysers in Northern California. Well, you may hit her big, and you may hit her small. And there's a damn good chance you won't hit her at all. But I'll tell you now, mister, ain't nothing around like riding that drill bit deep in the ground. And, uh, but I'll tell you, when you hit that natural steam, there's nothing like it. I mean, look at this. This is the, the natural energy of the earth. It's completely clean. And when we put the power plant online, there's virtually no emissions. It's the cleanest, premium source of power that this planet's got to offer the people on the surface. And uh, when you hit, it's just magnificent.